My guest today is Melanie Avalon, a SAG after actress, health influencer, and author of What When Wine, Lose Weight and Feel Great with Paleo Style Meals, Intermittent Fasting, and Wine. She is also the host of the Melanie Avalon Biohacking Podcast and the Intermittent Fasting Podcast with Cynthia Thurlow. She's a top iTunes app creator and founder of the supplement line Avalon X, and she has appeared in numerous publications, including USA Today, Forbes, Ellie Weekly, and Entrepreneur. Welcome to Lifeology. Thank you, James. I am so thrilled to be here. I've been looking forward to this for so long. <laughs> We've known each other for about three years, I think it is. And I've wanted you on my show for so long. And so I'm finally glad that we've been able to finally make it work. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm like really excited. This is a good moment. And it's December, Christmas, my favorite yes. month. Life is good. Yes. There's my little Christmas tree in the background. I was trying to I remember, know. we actually met, we met through... Um, Glenn Dr. Livingston. Glenn Livingston. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know who, who he is, he's written one of the top um, diet books um, on Amazon. It's called Never Binge Again. So neverbingeagain.com. Check, definitely check that out. You will not, you will not regret it. But with you, you've, you've done so many things. That means from an actress to a biohacking person, I want to just jump right into that. So as an actress, you know, looking at your background, you've done quite a few things. What was it about acting that inspired you? Yeah. So I always loved performing growing up. I was doing community theater and theater in high school and I knew it's what I wanted to do. I left mm -hmm. high school early actually to go to USC for film and theater. Huh? And I just, I don't know, there's something about creating stories and just lighting up people and entertainment that I just absolutely adore. And so it's really interesting now with what I'm doing kind of more in the influencer world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How, it, it's interesting how that has changed, like, because the influencer mm -hmm. world today isn't really something that was around, like, when yeah, I was growing up. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I love how everything's kind of coming together now. I can still, like, do the performative aspect of, like, mm -hmm. you know, creating my image and putting myself out there yeah. and having an audience. But it, tying it into health and wellness is just so cool. Like, I'm very grateful yeah. to be alive today. Yeah, I am as well. I, I don't know about you, but you know, people see me and hear me and like, James, you have so much energy, which I do, but I also like my downtime and I like my space and I like the quietude. How do you transition between the, the quote limelight, um, the social aspect and then your own personal life? I love this question. I'm so glad we're talking about this. No, we're the same, you and I. So when people, you know, when people see me or meet me, they assume I'm an extrovert. They assume I'm yeah. like, super high energy all the time. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Yeah, like, yeah. like I have to, it is so, I'm, I'm an introvert actually. And, mm -hmm. um, boundaries are so important. Like I, I often yes. get asked how I do everything that I'm doing. Cause I have podcasts and a supplement line and a lot of stuff. And the key to it for me is knowing my boundaries and prioritizing okay. self-care above everything else. So yes. sleep, um, knowing how much I can go out and, and when yeah. knowing, you know, exercise, sauna, cryotherapy, recovery, I, I just have to prioritize that. And that's how you can mm -hmm. show the best for the world and, you know, help everybody yes. else. I think. Yeah. And it's true. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, what's the, they always say, put your mask on first when you're flying an airplane. I mean, that's the same thing. If you don't take care of yourself first, it goes south pretty quickly. What one thing, um, I definitely want people to check out your Instagram, Melanie Avalon. It's, it's cool. I was like, when I see your photos, you always have like the red light on in the background and at night and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. So I, I have strip lights on my house. And so I will put the strip lights on for red and it's very calming. So, I mean, I obviously understand the light spectrum, but it's, it's pretty cool. And so I was, you inspired me to do that. So, but going back to the whole aspect of self-care, you know, transitioning from doing the acting to the biohacking, what was the aspect that wanted you to transition specifically into that? Yeah. So I first got sort of obsessed with the health and wellness world it, through the dieting world. Cause growing up, mm -hmm. I was always trying to lose weight. And when mm -hmm. I finally found, um, I don't do low carb anymore, but I found low carb Atkins, that whole thing, keto oh, uh -huh. yeah. way yeah. before it was I'm, well, Atkins was popular, but it was keto wasn't popular popular mm -hmm, like it is mm -hmm. today. Um, but that's when I first realized that what we eat doesn't just affect weight loss; it affects your entire existence yes, and <laughs> how you yes. experience the world. Um, so that kind of got me on that track. And then after graduating college, I started having some health issues. I moved into a moldy apartment. I was oh, getting gosh. fatigue. I had some. GI distress. So I um, mm -hmm. started researching just modalities to help me feel better. And mm -hmm. all of that stuff ended up becoming what is the quote biohacking movement today. So Ooh, all of wow, these different okay. things to um, just 
upgrade your performance, feel better. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned red light. So like, you know, taking Mm -hmm. charge of your light exposure, um, Mm -hmm. things like sauna and cryotherapy, you know, heat and cold, um, Mm -hmm. supplements. There's just so many, so many different things. And so I became obsessed and I, uh, I have this thing where when I experience something that really changes my life, I just have to tell everybody, like, I don't want to teach people. (laughs) I don't want to teach. I don't want to like be a lighthouse or anything, but I just want to tell everybody. Um, (laughs) so the podcasting platform became amazing for that. So yeah, that's how I landed in quote biohacking. I love it. it. yeah, it's always interesting how a stumbling block in our life can become a stepping stone if we allow it. So, you know, every everything in our life is like every event, like a jigsaw puzzle piece. And so every jigsaw puzzle piece links together. So if we get stuck in one aspect of why is this happening, I don't understand that. But if you wait a little bit longer, you'll see how something links together and more things link together. Then we become like the, the photo, if you will, of the jigsaw puzzle. So if things are going real well in your life, you love it. We won't want, didn't want to go through those things that we did before, but because of that, we are who we are today. So good for you for being able to take that uh, stumbling block and turn it into a stepping stone. Thank you so much. And it's funny. So all during it, because I had some dark times, like, and I call it my 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 black hole period. And mm. emotionally, I wasn't <laughs> in a dark place. Like I always really felt m- motivated and, po- and positive, but I would just felt mm-hmm. so unwell that like, I literally didn't go out for like two years, like, and, like no wow. pictures, yeah. no nothing. Yeah. Um. And during that time, I would say, I know someday I'll be grateful for this. And I really believe mm-hmm. that. Sure. And now I can now I can honestly say that because I, I would not be doing what I'm doing today if that sure. had all happened. So yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. How do you find to, to, for the biohacking? Because information is great, but sometimes too information and trying too many things can be a little overcorrection. How did you learn to enjoy the biohacking and really experience it without getting lost in it or consumed by it? Your questions are so good. Okay. Cause that is something <laughs> <laughs> that is something that also is have been a huge thing for me because I, yeah. I got so obsessive, especially when I was trying to find answers. I was trying everything. I was documenting everything. And I got to this place where I felt like I had to be doing the things I was doing. I didn't even know if the things I was doing were working, but I felt like I had mm-hmm. to be doing them as well. Mm. And it was so overwhelming. And, um, it, it's funny. So one of my favorite quote, biohacking tools that I have Mm. right now, I'm wearing it. It's an aura ring and it measures your body temperature and your respiration, your heart rate variability, your sleep cycles, your activity, everything. So it gives you all the data. It's one of my favorite things. And, um, it Mm. took me so long to get it because I was like, I can't bring in something else into my life where I'm just (laughs) inundated with data and measuring everything. Um, so I think the flip that happened was when I had the realization that, I don't have to do any of these things and everything that I'm choosing to do, I'm choosing to do it and I'm just Mm -hmm. doing it because it makes me feel better. So I think removing the the necessity from it and just seeing everything as a additive rather than Mm -hmm. something that you have to have. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. When you, so your, your show, obviously you're very transparent with things you try, things that work, et cetera. How, how do you, cause I mean, I get asked this question all the time, but how do you, stay focused and motivated to continue to doing what you're doing when you've done it for so long. And sometimes it can just be exhausting. How do you find the motivation or drive to keep going and learning more and learning more? What's funny is because my initial response to that is that I, I I really don't like, I just so love what I'm doing and there's always more to do. So it's kind of (laughs) like the opposite. I'm like, how do I, how do I uh, slow down a little bit? How do I not want to do as much as I'm doing? (laughs) Um, I actually get, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I get, I get sort of envious growing up. I would, cause a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people are like me where they know exactly what they want to do. And like, that's uh, what they're going to uh. do. And they're going to do it. And then some people don't know what they want to do. And I was always so jealous of those people. I was like, that would be so freeing to like, <laughs> just, <laughs> just be like so open to so many things and not have yeah. this like feeling that I have to accomplish all of these things. Um, so yeah, the, the motivation thing, yeah, it's not really, I don't know. I don't have a good answer for that because I'm just so, yeah. there's just so much no, to do. No, that's fantastic. Yeah, no, yeah. and that's great because I, I'm an avid learner. And so if mm-hmm. someone can say something to me and now that I have like my, my smartphone, I can ask my smartphone the random trivia that just pops into my head. And so I can like, oh, that's great. And so I get to learn that and then I get to randomly use it at, a, at an odd time. But it is great that, you know, you are an avid learner as well. So to be able to teach all these things. Let's transition into your supplement line. Tell me more about that. Okay. I am so thrilled about this. Um, so like you, like I said, I went through this period of all of the Mm self-experimentation and taking supplements was a big part of that. 
And I currently have like a supplement graveyard now of all of the supplements <laughs> that I tried. Um, and then I went through a period where I think I just stopped taking all the supplements because I just got overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, mm. Started bringing them back in, but I am so I, – I'm very sensitive and I react really intensely to things. So mm. I became a little bit neurotic in what I was putting into my body. And with the supplement industry – so just as a foundation, I will say that in my dream world or yeah, in my dream world, we would get all of our nutrients from food. We wouldn't yes. even need supplements. Yeah, yeah. Um, that said, our modern environment, farming conditions, diet, everything mm. has made that not so possible. So I think there are some nutritional supplements that can be pretty necessary for a lot of people. And then on top of that, there's a lot of really cool anti-aging or longevity or, you know, just upgrade type supplements that mm. are out there. Um, so I, the supplement industry is very intense in that it's a little bit, it can be sketchy. The regulation yeah. is sort of weird. Mm. Like it's like weirdly intensely regulated and then not, especially now that I've yeah. launched a line, I'm learning so much about <laughs> all of the crazy regulations, but then just not like there's, it, it's mm -hmm. weird. Um, so I was finding it really hard to find supplements that I felt comfortable taking. So I, I was like, I just need to make my own. So then I know that I feel really great about it. And it's funny. I, I like, I, cause I am like, um, like you're mentioning and like, it might be obvious. I, I'm always trying different things. I'm always making recommendations. I will give yeah. recommendations for different brands and different things. For most of the supplements I take now, it's really hard for me to find even other brands that I, you know, feel as good about. Really? There are some, but, um, sure. yeah. So I, I was just so excited to make what I currently take and make it like mm -hmm. the ultimate best of the best. Yeah. No, no problematic fillers, glass bottles, mm -hmm. all the things. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one thing, because like you said, some things are not FDA regulated. And so what would, what is different about yours? I mean, obviously I know you and I trust you, but what's different about yours that has that golden stamp or that golden seal? Yeah, so many things. Um, well, I partnered with a pre-existing company um, rather okay. than start from the ground up and like sure. do everything myself. I was like, that's yeah. a lot of skill sets that I don't currently have. And time-wise, I don't think that's the best exactly. route to take. <laughs> so I decided <laughs> I decided to um, work with a company, MD Logic Health, that already had their line and a insanely incredible facility, GMP certified, mm. um, all of this, all of the stuff that I needed. Um, but then mm -hmm. I wanted to take it one step further and make my own line, you know, partnering with them. And so I, there's so many things. So like with, with supplements, most supplements require fillers, um, or lubricants. So when you look at the mm -hmm. back of your bottle, you'll see like the active ingredient and then all these other things. And it's usually yeah, things like palmates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be, Oh, half the time. Yeah. Half the time it's like maltodextrin, which is mm -hmm. basically like sugar. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's often palmitates, sterates, which might have negative health effects. It's often mm -hmm. rice, which is fine mm -hmm. for most people, but a lot of people actually, especially with gluten allergies can react to mm -hmm. rice. Sure. Um, so for me, I really wanted to formulate all my supplements with either no fillers or no even potentially problematic fillers, which wow. was a process because we had to develop actually a specific process for my first supplement, serapactase, to to, to mm. do that, mm -hmm. um, which is really great. And then on top of that, you know, testing like a million times for purity and potency for heavy mm -hmm. metals and mold. We're launching my oh, third gosh, supplement right. tomorrow night, which is very exciting. Oh, congratulations. Um, Berberine, and that was the first herbal supplement. So we were doing, uh -huh. we'd had to do third party testing for pesticides because that's really important to me. Oh, gotcha. Um, so there's just so many things that go into it. And then glass bottles, there's so many, mm -hmm. so few supplement companies that make theirs in glass bottles. And I'm very, yeah, if you look at my, yeah, if you look at my, my, now that you say that, I, if I look at my cadmet there, yeah, they're definitely, most of them are, are plastic. Which, plastic. Great. Yeah. Which, I, guess, I guess I'll be buying your line. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, two, two issues with that one environmentally. Um, I'm actually doing yeah, an episode yeah. soon all on plastic, which it's kind of like mm. scared me that book. Um, and then second, if you think about it, a lot of people order their supplements on Amazon, for example, and they're mm -hmm. sitting in, mm -hmm. you know, hot warehouses in the summer sure. and that plastic yeah. bottles, it's just probably a problem yeah. with things leaching. So, yeah. yes. Well, that's Glass. good to know. I guess I'll be throwing <laughs> things out now. How do you, when you choose your, uh, your product line, how do you know, like you said, your first one, the 
Serapteptase. How do you say that? Serapteptase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how is it that you chose that one? And then I know you have magnesium and then you have this third one coming out. How did you choose? Why did you choose those specific? Um, yes. And by the way, did you receive it, the package? I did. And I was going to talk okay. about that. Okay. Yes. They're okay, great. Okay, I absolutely good. love it. Okay, yeah. good, and good. they're both in glass bottles. So I should say all mine. Okay. I have those. Right. I have the magnesium and the Serapteptase. Awesome. Well. Awesome. Um, okay. So Serapteptase is what we launched with. And I just, I'm kind of obsessed with this story. Um, so when I, I'm the host of the intermittent fasting podcast and my original host was Jen Stevens. Um, she's a New York times bestseller and she wrote a book called fast feast repeat. And she doesn't take like any supplements. Um, we, I've had that show for five years. And when we first started the show, somehow Sarah Peptase came up on the show and we realized we were both, it was like the one supplement we were both taking every single day. Oh, and it's something that like nobody's heard of, like, Nobody's heard of yeah. serapeptase. I had to look it up. Um, <laughs> I know. I can't even say um, it. <laughs> serapeptase. Um, serapeptase. So we kind we started talking about it all the time because it has so many health benefits. Um, so basically, it's a proteolytic enzyme created by the Japanese silkworm. It's mm-hmm. what it's what allows the worm to when it's coming out of the wait chrysalis cocoon yeah, <laughs> when it's coming out yeah, to, yeah, yeah to to break it down without harming its own tissue so it only breaks down non-living quote problematic tissue oh, not your not healthy tissue so mm-hmm. when you take it and by the way now we make it in a lab so it's vegan um when you take this enzyme on an empty stomach it goes into your bloodstream and it breaks down all of these problematic proteins that you have in your body so it systemically Fix, fixes, addresses so many things. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of people take it for allergies. That's why I started taking mm-hmm. it. It will clear your sinuses. Like they'll just be like so clear, um, reduces inflammation. Jen was taking it cause it'll actually get rid of fibroids, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, well. can help with pain. It so, so incredible. Uh, brain fog. People experience that yeah. just be gone. So, um, it, yeah. So it's funny cause we were talking about it for years on that show and kind of started like a cult following for Sarah Peptase. So I knew it needed to be my my first supplement, um, even wow. though most people haven't heard of it, but it yeah. went so well, it sold out overnight when we launched it. So, wow. uh, yeah, I, I take it. That's amazing. Again. Yeah. Well, I've taken it as well and I can definitely notice the difference as well, but I was, I did, when I did the research on it, I was like, oh, this is from the, this is from a, um, like a silkworm. And I was like, that's really cool. Cause I know about, I know, um, cordyceps, I know that comes from a silkworm and, a anyway, but a lot of things happen with silkworms from what I've heard as well. So tell me about this new one that you've just launched. That's launching tomorrow rather. Yes, <clears throat> berberine. So I'm super excited about this. Um, so uh, there, as a lot of people know, we have a lot of health issues today and metabolic, mm-hmm. metabolic syndrome, the obesity mm-hmm. epidemic yeah. is a big sure. deal, chronic disease. And one of the key factors in that is high blood sugar levels. Um, our mm-hmm. modern diet is just pr- really promotes high blood sugar levels, which can be a foundation and all of the following issues with all of that. And so berberine has been used actually since 3000 BC. So thousands of years. Um, I know I didn't realize it was that old. (laughs) I was like, Oh, wow. Um, Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine originally Mm -hmm. actually originally Mm -hmm. for gut inflammation and GI health. Um, now it's quickly, quickly known and pretty popular for its blood sugar regulating benefits. Um, it can rival yeah, it can rival pharmaceuticals without hmm. the potentially detrimental effects of pharmaceuticals. So I started taking it. Um, I often, in the whole biohacking world, I'll wear, I will wear a continuous glucose monitor, which hmm. is um, it's a sensor that you put onto your arm and it actually measures your blood sugar levels 24 7. You can sync it to an app. Um, it's super cool. I really recommend, I honestly recommend everybody try it for at least two weeks, a, a CGM, wow. because you will see how you are responding to food, to diet, to exercise. You'll, yeah. you'll like see it. You're like, oh, I eat this and my blood sugar does this. Um, it oh. it kind of, it's, it's amazing. Um, huh. So I discovered wearing that, that when I took berberine, unsurprisingly, it had a really amazing effect on my blood sugar levels. And then I started diving deep into the research beyond just blood sugar and it has so many mm-hmm. benefits. So GI health, beneficial effects on the gut microbiome. Um, it can mm-hmm. even stimulate something called autophagy, which is where your body breaks down old problematic proteins. It can stimulate mm, AMPK. Yeah, it mm-hmm. can stimulate AMPK, which is a, a longevity pathway that's activated mm-hmm. by like fasting and calorie restriction. Um, can help with lipids, just so many things. So I yeah, I knew I had to 
make it. So it's coming out tomorrow. I'm really excited. <laughs> sounds like wizardry. I love it. <laughs> I know, oh, this stuff is I fantastic. Know. No, that's I have great. I'm going to send you a bottle. Yeah, I, I really want to try it. It's, it's funny because, you know, there's so many, so many supplements out there and so many different versions of it. But to hear you talk about it, it's, it's, re it's really exciting to hear, you know, the first one and the second one. I mean, that's, those just seem like superfoods in some way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And again, I, I do wish food could be the, the foundation of everything, but mm -hmm. these things can, can help today. For yeah, sure. yeah, exactly. What's next for you besides, okay, you have this huge launch tomorrow. What's next? What, what else are you taking over in the world? Um, so I, there's, well, there's a lot more I want to do with the, the supplement line. So uh -huh. we'll see how things go with that. I'm really, really excited. We have a good lineup for 2023. And then I actually, so the next like product <laughs> I want to create is I want to create something for EMF blocking, um, products. So I want to launch a line with that. Cause I'm really concerned about the effect people. I know people think it's like woo woo, but there's like well, scientific studies. Some people studies. don't know what that is. Yeah. Some people don't okay, know yeah, what yeah, that yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the electromagnetic, um, fields that we are exposed to and all of our electronic devices or Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, is yeah. we're just inundated with it. And there's so many studies on how it actually affects our cells and like, especially mm -hmm. the, the calcium mm -hmm. channels in our cells. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's, mm -hmm. is it the WHO? One of the health organizations has categorized EMF as a, um, one of, of as a carcinogen, like nobody talks oh, about that. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that. So yeah. So, um, I think it can be, I mean, there are things you can do for free to obviously mitigate mm -hmm. your exposure. You can turn sure. off yeah, your of Wi-Fi when you're not mm -hmm. using it. You can, mm -hmm. I, I will not. So I'm, well, I'm wearing headphones right now, but when I'm using my phone, um, I never ever put it up to my head. Like, ever. yeah, I, so yeah. I use, I use wired <laughs> headphones. I don't use yeah. Bluetooth, um, headphones. Cause if you think about like Bluetooth earpods, yeah, you're putting true. them right by your yeah. brain. Yeah. Um, and, there, and there's, right there's been a lot of studies. I don't, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my brain. <laughs> I know. Just kidding. Um, Just kidding. <laughs> but there's been a lot of really interesting studies actually on um, male fertility uh, and like and EMFs from like, yeah, carrying especially when you have in your pocket. Pockets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. I've heard of that. I've read about that. Yeah. So um, I really want to um, launch a line for some products related to this, and we have a prototype for something that I'm really, really excited about um, that nobody has done yet with the EMF blocking stuff, and it's going to address something mm. that um, basically everybody is doing daily that I needs to be addressed. And I'm being vague, but I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. You should um, be vague. I'm so excited. I'll have to have you back on when it's out. It makes me think of creating like a Faraday cage around your phone, your electronics, and I put them in a box. A so Faraday cage is something. It's a it's a container that drop that. Um, doesn't allow anything to pass it as far as uh, um, any electronic devices, all that's mm -hmm. kind of just locked in there. So that would be kind of cool if someone created something like that. We got to lock it in there. We can still hear it if we needed, but help us to get a good net trust. But anyway, you're my random. Oh my goodness. You're getting very close to. <laughs> oh my You're very close. You're like, <laughs> oh, you're like 80% of the way there. <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. You like We're sort of anyway. <laughs> 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 I was something funny. Oh my god. Wow. You're amazing. I'm like, I'm like, did I tell him all of this beforehand? Like everything that you're saying. Oh my god. That is hysterical. Wow, yeah, that's exciting. If that's roughly I mean, I won't give it away, but if that's the case, that's quite fantastic. Uh, I can't believe really it. <laughs> Melly Avalon, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on my show. You're welcome back anytime. If my viewers and listeners want to find out more information about you, to purchase your products, learn more about your supplement lines, all the different products you endorse, where are the and all this information online. Sure. So my central hub is melanieavalon.com. You can get these supplements at avalonx.us. I have two shows, the Melanie Avalon Biohacking Podcast and the Intermittent Fasting Podcast. And then I'm Melanie Avalon on all the social media stuff. Wonderful. My viewers and listeners also know that if I can't find this information any other place, simply go to the show notes at jamesmillerlifeology.com and I'll have all of Melanie's information there. Melanie, thank you so much for being a fantastic guest on my show today. Thank you, James. This was incredible. It was everything I was hoping it would be and more. You're amazing. <laughs> Thank you.